Welcome back everyone to the MSU Talk podcast with me again, Imran. And today we're going to explore something very busy, something that you wish to learn more. And it's between me and you, it's related to business. So I know you are very well versed in the business world as accounting, economics, finance and all. So in today's podcast session, we're going to be diving even deeper and learning everything and maybe just what it takes to increase your knowledge in the business awareness world. So joining me in this session is Madam Parimala, the Deputy Dean of Student Affairs from the Faculty of Business Management and Professional Studies. Madam, welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much. And uh, also, I would like to say thank you to Mr. Imran for inviting me for this podcast. And uh, how are you today? I am very good, actually. I was about to ask you the same question. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much. So, madam, I've known you for quite a while now. So, can you please introduce yourself a bit to the audience? Okay. I am uh, Parimala Devi, the Deputy Dean of Student Affairs. And uh, my forte is economics. And I've been teaching in this area with Management and Science University for the past 23 years. And uh, currently, as the Deputy Dean of Student Affairs, uh, basically most of the activities, students' uh, activities in terms of their industrial visits, in terms of involvement in curricular activities, uh, will be definitely under me. So, so um, that is a bit about myself. Wow, look at that. So whew, I'm very excited already. Learning a bit of your background already, I'm already excited to go. Can we just jump right into it? Definitely. First and okay. foremost, for maybe for those of you with background of business, maybe you understand, but maybe those with background of you know, medicine and other the science students, right? From our SPM and STPM leavers, they want to know more about business itself. Can you like describe to them what is business to you? Okay, now business is something which is very important in our daily life. Basically, every transaction involving business. For example, when you go to a shop, when you want to buy something, it involves a buyer and also a seller. That is already a business transaction. So it starts from very small, starting from household to small, medium enterprise and to multinational companies involve business. Okay, but business is something which is very wide. So it involves marketing, it involves economics, it involves finance, management, as well as accounting. So uh, that is the uniqueness of business. All right. So that, in a way, encompasses everything about business for you all to understand. So let's, let's pick one. And what about accounting? How can you describe accounting to me? Okay. Accounting, basically, it's, uh, it keeps tracks of all the records transaction in terms of uh, the record transaction, the summarizing of the record, classification of the record, basically in terms of accounting, as well as also tax and also for legal aspects. So uh, sometimes people say uh, accounting means it's only particularly about accounting firm, but it's not like that. Uh, basically, every company, every businesses, you need an accountant. So that is the uniqueness of accounting being an accountant. I see. So like when they, okay, so when they sometimes, this is something very common. They say like, oh, tax evasion, tax all. So it also go, goes under accounting, right? Correct. Yes. Ah. Because when you study accounting, you don't only study financial accounting, you study management accounting, you study cost accounting, you also study about tax, you study about audit mm. and also economics, you study about finance, you study about management as well as marketing. So it's like, Everything, covered everything. Haha, ha. so here at Management Science University, I'm sure we do have an accounting program, Exactly, right? we do. We have our diploma in accounting mm -hmm. and also we have our bachelor in accounting as well. I see. So what are the requirements to, you know, jump right into that program? Okay, uh, for example, students after SPM, mm -hmm. they can do their foundation in business okay. and then they can pursue their bachelor in accounting or they can do their diploma in accounting and then they continue the bachelor in accounting. I see. What happens if, for example, I have I do not have my SPM background of accounting? Okay. Can I still join the diploma in accounting? Exactly, you can. Because uh, I could say sometimes the science stream students, when they switch to accounting, they excel much better compared to when they were in science stream back then in Form 5. I see. Yeah, so without, because when you come to MSU, when you're doing your Diploma in accounting, we are going to start to teach from scratch. 
from scratch. Exactly. So meaning to say, if you don't have any basic in accounting, you are a pure science sim student, you can still enroll to diploma in accountancy. Wow. So all the let me yeah, let me try to recall uh, try balance exactly all the ins and outs. Yes. Ah, yes okay. Yes. Okay. That's really interesting. So that is in accounting. All right. So what else do we have? We have economics. We have finance. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is something more interesting. I, oh, is there like a combination between economics and finance, or is it just in itself? Okay. Now we do have a bachelor in finance. Okay. We also have bachelor in economics and finance. Oh. Okay. What's the difference there? All right. Now economy. Now talking about economy, we can say that economy means it covers both microeconomics as well as macroeconomics. Okay. okay. So microeconomics is basically about. Um, the transactions, the economics that happen within the household, Micro. firms, industry. Okay. So it's a small Scale. unit, All individual right. unit. Understood. And when you're talking about macroeconomics, it's more about the economy overall, whole country, oh. involving gross domestic product, the national income of the country, the inflation rate, unemployment rate of the country. Money, 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 money. Yes. Money, money. Policies. I see. Yeah, policies. Talking about policies. For example, when government wants to implement the five-year planning, when government wants to implement monetary policy or fiscal policy. So all that comes under economy. Okay. Okay. Talking about uh, digital economy. Yes. Bitcoin. Yes. Talking about um, big data. Yes. 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 So it's all about economy. I see. Yeah. But then... Economy works together with finance. They work hand in hand? Yes. Okay. Because finance is about budgeting. Okay. It's about financial institution. All right. It's about data analysis. It's about investment. For instance, every end of the year, government will be announcing the budget. Yes. Okay. So when they're doing the budget, they need the pakar economy kita perlukan, pakar kewangan pun kita perlukan juga. Oh. Uh, so we work hand in hand. So, for instance, when government want to set the budget, should we increase the tax rate or should we reduce the tax rate? So, they need to work together. The economists and also those who are experts in finance, they work together. I see. So, that's why we have bachelor in economics and finance. I see. But do we also have a bachelor in economics itself? Uh, no, but we have bachelor in finance. I see. Yes. So, how do you differentiate that? How would you try to... Uh, the, say the difference between those two courses in itself. Okay. If you're talking about bachelor in finance, they specifically study about finance only. Meaning to say all the subjects will be related to finance, mm-hmm. uh, investment, econometrics, mathematics. So they only focus on finance. But when you're studying bachelor in economics and finance, 50% coverage of economic subjects and 50% coverage of finance subjects. So you have combination of both. Okay. Yes. Ah, so, so you say that usually economists and finance will work together. But now yes. I am, I am a one pack. Okay. I learn everything, so okay. I can do it myself. No, this the work together. Okay. Um. Well, you when you actually study, for example, if you mm-hmm. are doing foundation in business, you do take economic subjects. You also take finance subjects, but there are just introductory level. Aha. But when you're taking bachelor in economics and finance, you take all the core subjects and economics wow. and also all the core subjects and the finance. So that means you're really specialized in both. Ah, okay, everyone. If you wish to learn both at the same time, you don't yes. want to master, not, not specifically about mastering, but you want to learn two cores at the same time. Well, there you go. Bachelor's in economics, economics and, and finance. finance. Now, exactly. that is very interesting. Uh, just now we've met, we were talking about macro economy, right? Okay, That's yes, related yes. to like the whole country and Correct. other countries. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, I have been notified that we have a specific course that's related to international. Is it? Uh, if not mistaken, bachelor's in international, international business. business. Yes. yes. What about that one? What is that okay. all bachelor about? Bachelor in international business in MSU is very unique. Okay. Okay. Because uh, why? Now, as you see that people are moving towards globalization. Yes, indeed. Okay. So, you can name, for example, like very small, medium enterprise. Okay. They also want to export their product. Yes. They're not talking about just glo- domestic market. They're talking about global market. So, that's why we're moving forward. We have this bachelor in international business. And the uniqueness of bachelor in international business at MSU 
we have our minoring subject. Minors. Yes. Okay. So when come to the second year, student they will choose their minor. Okay. They can choose to go to logistic. Logistics. Marketing. Marketing. E-commerce. E-commerce. Yes. Or banking and finance. So uh, this will be the component, and all these components are very in demand currently. I see. Okay, and under Bachelor International Business, we have subjects. Uh, for example, it covers uh, all the marketing, management, finance, economics, accounting, international business subjects, logistic <sighs> subject, and very unique is cross cultural management. Cross. And also global strategic management. Global strategic management is whereby in the final year, students will be organizing an international trip. What? They can go? Yes. Okay. It is also our GLP, Global ah, Leadership, Leadership Program. Program. Yes. Yes. Okay. So whereby for two weeks, All right. they will be in another country. So they have to plan. Recently, ah. they went to Thailand. Okay, uh, last semester they went to Indonesia. Yes. So what they have to do is they have to use all the knowledge they have studied so far mm -hmm. in terms of international business, logistic, marketing, and they have to organize this trip. And when they go to another country, they have to organize community service. They also need to do a marketing research in that country. Exactly. So, for example, let's say if they invent a new product, okay. how are they going to market that product in that particular country I to suit see. the culture in that country? Okay. Okay. So, that's the challenge being international business students. So, uh, they love this program because they have this international trip in it. Um. And many of international business students have enrolled also to our global mobility program, GMP. Yes. So, ranging from Turkey, Korea, Indonesia, oh Australia, yes. Okay. That's a, they're going there to study? Yes, oh, one semester. One semester or some of them even study for two semesters. I see. Uh, is there any, you know, can you see any difference for those who are going abroad and those who just did their full year in Malaysia? Okay, when students have this international exposure, they become very independent because they're away from the family, they become very independent. They manage to be, uh, to groom their leadership skills because when they're away, uh, over there, the culture is different. The assessment is different and they don't only study, but they also involve in all the curricular activities. So they sharpen the leadership skill. They become more versatile management skill in terms of analytical skills. They are much better when they come back. I see. Yeah. That's but That's they do enjoy, you know, Yeah, They it, really enjoy. Of yeah, course they, they, they will enjoy. enjoy. That's yes. the international when you go to trip. Turkey, yeah, students will be sending pictures. Madam, today I went to this place. I went to this place. So they'll be sharing all the pictures. You know, we, we, it's awesome. So like students, they don't only go there and study. No, very balanced. They have time for sightseeing, study, curricular activities, performing, dances, what yes. am I doing with exactly. my life? Yes. I could have taken bachelor's in international yeah. business. Not too late though. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Okay, very interesting. Okay. All right. So, all right. Since we're talking about, you know, the, we were talking about it just now about like the students have to, you know, try try to market their product if they create Correct. it here in Malaysia yes, yeah. in the GMP or GLP. Right? Yes, yes. yes. This is very closely related to what we learn in in MSU about entrepreneurship, is it not? Correct, yes, yes. So how do you describe entrepreneurship for those out there? Okay, entrepreneurship, I would say now, uh, for recently, Ibrahim, this okay. question is very related to what we have been doing this week because we just had our MSU entrepreneurship and uh, we had this one competition with schools, business pitching competition. So when we did this in school, we find out that in school itself, students already have the interest to be an entrepreneur. I see. Yes. So, uh, this business pitching competition, they have to invent a new product. Did the BMC model, they presented about their new product. For example, frozen food. Okay. Uh, pudding. Okay. But they have to come out with something different, a new idea. Oh. So, when Form 5 students can do that, when they come to university, here we are to develop them to become a better entrepreneur. Mm. And specifically in MSU, we have Bachelor in Entrepreneurship. Oh, we also okay. have Diploma in Entrepreneurship. And we also have this Jump Start Program. 
Jump Start program. Yes, oh. Jump Start program. What is that? Jump Start program. It's like um, let's say for example, Imran, you're very keen uh, in starting a business. Okay. So we will actually teach you. Okay, how to do a business proposal. Ooh. How to do a business pitching? How to open your company? How to register with SSM? We will continuously coach you, provide training, and there will be a mentor to guide you as well. For if, for example, if I want to start a program, yes. those are the things that are provided in the yes, Jump yes, Start yes, program. Yes, 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 yes. Well, well, well. Exactly. So for those of you who are interested, you know, being a student and a part-time or a full-time business owner. Ah, don't worry. You can just come right in, join any program. Wait a minute. Is yeah. that program only available for business students here at Management? No, no, no. Any any background, they can apply. I see. Let's say, for example, if like you di- you you are not from business, you are not from Prakaunan, but you're from Science Stream, you can. Ah, yes, so you that's can. why. So that's why I've heard about. I've heard about there is this uh, international medical school student, yes, right? They yes. have his. He has his own business. Correct. Related. Yes. Ah, yes. Yes. Now that yes, is very, very interesting. True. So yes. this all comes from the Jump Starts program. Yes. Okay. Even like yesterday, mm-hmm. we had this entrepreneurship week. We had all the one <laughs> hundred booth down there. Not only our faculty students are participating, but we have IMS students, we have IT students, engineering students participating exhibiting their product, selling their products and they're very creative. They're very creative. And all their products are moving towards digital economy. The innovation is towards green technology because entrepreneurship is all about innovation. It's about being creative. It's about how strong you are to be a risk taker. So how to manage the risk. So that is about entrepreneurship. And MSU, we are the top leading university in terms of entrepreneurship. Now that is what I want to hear. Yes, exactly. And recently we have got this award from Emna. Emna. Yeah. So that is uh, an value added and value added. And you can see that uh, in MSU, every day basically you have programs related to entrepreneurship. It's true. I agree. As an alumni here in Management and Science University, I can agree 100% approve. Even though I was a study a bachelor's in psychology, right? I still had to learn about entrepreneurship, Correct. right? I had to yes. start my Very own true. little projects and all and to learn. Although I may not be using it now, but in the future, maybe, you know, right? So entrepreneurship is like, in a way, a backup for every other student here in Management. Correct. Yes, it? yes, yes, yes. True. So like, if we talk about experiences mm-hmm. right do the students or like the professors or le- sorry i'm sorry do the professors or lecturers mm-hmm. provide any real experience or like industry talks to the students yes we do uh, talking about that earlier on uh, imran you mentioned to me about accounting yes okay now uh, for example the uniqueness of msu diploma in accounting and bachelor in accounting our curriculum is so much tailored according to the professional bodies. Oh, okay. We have our subjects, we comply to all the needs by MQA and okay. also by MIA, Malaysian Institute of Accounting, and also professional bodies, ACCA. Ah, okay. So our lecturers, all the accounting lecturers, they have the qualification from the professional bodies as well. I okay. see. And then... We also involve the students in all these, um, our partner industries. And recently, one of our students, Adriana, she's our Bachelor in Accounting students. And she recently won the award as the best award from Malaysian Institute of from Accounting, MIA. And yes, our lecturers, they bring students for industrial visits. And same time, we invite industrial speaker to MSU. Yeah, recently throughout the entrepreneurship week, we have speakers from Maybank, we have speakers from MDEC, we have speakers from EPF, we have speakers from uh, CIMB. Yes. We, yeah. So far, I'm I'm knowing all these bodies. Okay. So. Yeah, and also same time, uh, for instance, students who are taking bachelor retail marketing. Retail. Okay. Retail. Okay. So what they, we do is we also have attachment program. Oh. For example, like one week, they will be attached with the industries, retail industries. Okay. 
lotus for instance oh yes okay, okay. so under subject they have this attachment this is not internship yeah but this by subject the subject is for one semester but one week they will be attached to industry and they have to they have, they will experience the, the whole week of yes, situation yes. In, for example lotus correct so the world now is different it's not like those days you know we'll be studying everything <laughs> from the textbook so our lecturers they are not using the traditional method we are very creative we have lecture session same time we have two way communication interaction we also bring students to industry students attached to industry so when we are being attached to industry they understand the theory and practical hmm. so that is the difference in msc see yeah. okay so we have covered a lot in terms of business management like accounting <coughs> finance yeah. but there's one particular thing that occurred to me mm. when we talk about accounting and mia and and stuff it's legislation laws okay, law. do we have any programs in terms of law here in Malaysia yes yes we do the trend now students they would like to be a legal advisor yes true okay okay so that is why we have bachelor in law and commerce i'm sorry law and are you commerce. talking about bachelor's in law and and bachelor? commerce it's together so ah. it's one bachelor in law and commerce another combination of a course correct Exactly. Okay, so what is the what is the advantages of having it both in okay. one course? So that is why the trend now students they say that uh, they they would prefer to work with business uh, companies MNC rather than going to court and so on. Okay. So that is why they study uh, the bachelor in law and commerce, meaning to say fifty percent coverage of law and fifty percent coverage of commerce. So once oh. they have completed the BLC program. They will be attached to any kind of MNC or any kind of industries, and they will be the legal advisor. I see. Okay. Other than legal advisor, they can also become industrial relation officers. Oh, okay. yes, that sounds interesting. And we have three of our alumni being Ali Majlis. Oh, Ali Majlis. Ali Majlis, yes, MBSA. One of them is in MBSA. I see. Yes. So, uh, apart from that, what is like? Okay, those are the range of you know job, uh, you know, uh, prospect. I'm mean, sorry, uh, opportunities that they will receive right yes, after yes. finishing. Uh, what else are they able to do with their in terms of law? That was if law and commerce they have okay. to proceed right. Ah, so would they have to learn anything else in terms of? Do they have attachments as well? Like yes, they do. They have internship as well. They do have internship as well. Yeah, well, that's very interesting. So, you guys have the best in both worlds, huh? True. For, very for true. For having very like, true. That's not was economics and finance, finance, and now law and commerce. Yes, we also have bachelor, accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. Yes. Okay, I can see where this is going. We do have that as well. All right. Okay. So, like, th this is all the the trend nowadays in business, yes, isn't it? Yes, the trend nowadays exactly because nowadays the generation they want something challenging. Okay, they want more. So that is why they said that. Okay, uh, I want both economics, finance. I also want accounting, finance. I also want marketing with psychology. Ah. Yes. Yeah, so that is BMY, but marketing with psychology. Understood. Okay. Understood. Because being a marketer, you must be able to read the psychology of consumers. Mm, yep, I agree. So, just having the theory of marketing is not enough. So you need to have the combination of psychology. So that is why we have bachelor marketing with psychology. Very interesting. Those are my cousins, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, uh, right now, okay. uh, madam, we're going to dive into a bit of a segment of All our right. our podcast here, where we're going to look at the questions that okay. our fellow students <laughs> and you know future students of MSU have sent us questions regarding. Uh, what they can expect in the business side of the question. So let me read some of them. Let's can, see. Can. Very sure. Okay. <laughs> the first question is ACCA. Uh, okay. When is the right time masa yang sesuai untuk saya mengambil ACCA saya? Okay. Uh, jika para pelajar lepasan SPM, okay, pelajar boleh mengambil diploma perkawinan. Ah. Okay. Diploma perkawinan is going to be for two and a half years. Okay. Okay. Once they have completed Bachelor in Accounting, uh, Diploma in Accounting, they proceed to Bachelor in Accounting. After Diploma, Bachelor's, okay. Yes, Bachelor in Accounting. So once they have completed Bachelor in Accounting, they will get exemption for ACCA papers. I see. How many papers do we get exempted? They will exempted? be getting exemption of 10 papers. Ooh. So they will be only doing the remaining four. Wait, what? 
So yes. we exempted there. So actually in total, there's 14. Correct, correct. So we exempted by 10. Yes. I see. Exactly. So uh, when the question here is masa yang sesuai untuk mengambil ACCA papers. So once you are done with the battle and accounting in MSU, you can actually start working. Same time while you're working, you can take the remaining four papers of ACCA. I see, while working. Correct, yes. You don't have to like wait for a while, you need to take the four papers, only then you start working, you don't have to do that. Then what is the difference between someone who has an ACCA and mm. someone who doesn't have an ACCA? Okay, well, when you have ACCA is good because it is world recognized. That means uh, you can be accountant everywhere in the part of the world as well. Uh, but be, when you have bachelor in accounting, it's sufficient already for you to become an accountant. But you also need to have working experience. Understood. Yes. Okay. So sometimes to take the ACCA papers is also good once you are done with bachelor in accounting. Bekerja dulu. So, bila kita bekerja ni, uh, kita deal daily transaction. We learn new things daily. So, it will be very helpful for you to take the remaining four papers of ACCA. Okay, that's actually a bonus. Uh, because yes, Because all yes. the exemptions and all. Correct. All right. So, on to the next question. Oh, we've talked about this. Okay. MSU, what is retail and logistic management all about? Okay. Retail is different. Logistic is different. So, logistic, we have one program specifically on logistic. Okay. Bachelor in Logistic Management. All right. Okay. I'm sure, Mr. Imran, during pandemic, what were you doing at home? I was contemplating on life. Okay. And then, uh, do you go online? Do yes, you do. Do you do online shopping? Yes, I do. That's okay. the only way for us to get our Correct. stuff during the because COVID. Because you cannot go out, right? No So, who comes to your doorstep to deliver? Uh, my mom and oh, no, I just kidding. Uh, grab, you know, like okay, for you have grab, you have post laju, mm -hmm. you have ninja van. Yes, true. Okay. Oh, so those are all logistic, DHL. Ah. Okay, okay. Okay. So logistic is one of the highest in demand currently. Understood. Okay. So I have many of my bachelor logistic management student. They're working. They're also studying. Wait, they're doing so, at two at the same time? Correct. So what they do is morning until five, they attend classes. But after that, they start working. So it depends. They go to DHL, Ninja Van, um, Shanker Logistics. They work with the logistic industries. And it's very highly paid also. I see. So logistic is actually, once we have produced a product, how are we going to deliver it to the consumer? Yes. So it involves supply chain also. Oh. It involves procurement also. So that is all about logistic. Okay. But retail is different. Retail is peruncitan. Betul. Perniagaan secara kecil-kecilan. Benar. That is about retail. So for example, in MSU, we have our bila-bila month. Yes. Okay. So uh, that is retail. So when you study retail, you will uh, we will teach you on how to start up your business. And believe me, Imran, for example, when you go to any of the when you go to any of the retail shops, when you try to grab the buns, when you try to grab the biscuits and so on, sometimes you will just grab. But actually, there is skills. How do you do the arrangement of the products? That is about retail. Okay. So, there you go, folks. The the combination of retail and logistics. Because when I, when I heard uh, retail, I always think of Kedai Runcit. Yeah. And then when I think of logistics, is Okay, kursi cukup tak, meja cukup oh, okay, tak. Okay, That's okay, the only okay, thing okay. I think about right. about logistics. But okay. okay, it's actually more deeper than that, and it's in trending. Correct. Yes, in trending. Yeah, don't don't you know? Don't wait for the opportunity to come. Okay, it's here already. Okay, next question. Let's see. Oh, this is a very twenty first century question. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Uh, what is your opinion on business that is conducted with TikTok? and Instagram right now, we're using their live, those kind of business. What is your opinion on that? I think that is very much in trend now and very helpful. Huh. Okay. Because why? Um, the teenagers, if you see any products that you sell, it will be in demand when the youth, when the teenage and the young adults love to use it. So these are the category of people who are always in TikTok. And uh, so when you actually 
promote your product in social media or in TikTok definitely is going to be in trend. Many people are going to buy the product. So that is why even those who are in the 40s, 50s are also now trying to use, learning to use TikTok because they also want to promote their product using the social media, including TikTok. Wow, yes, wow, yes, wow. Yes. Look at what one platform can do. Exactly. What more if you're an influencer? True. Yes. Good question. Let's twist that question a bit. Okay. What if, okay, now I'm an SPM leaver. Okay. I am an influencer. All right. Okay, madam, I'm an influencer. I sell this product and this product, but mm -hmm. I usually do for other people's product. Okay. Now I want to continue my study. What are the programs that you would suggest that I join? Okay. To further, you know, enrich my career path in that way. Definitely you can. You can actually take Bachelor in International Business. As I told you just now, you can actually go into Bachelor in Marketing with Psychology oh. because you're good in TikTok. So I'm very sure you're going to be very good in marketing. Okay. And you can also uh, join Let's say, for example, if you want to become an entrepreneur, Bachelor in Entrepreneurship, and you can even go Bachelor Retail Marketing. Huh. Okay. And if you see, Imran, sometimes the, na the, the nature of the students also, you can see, oh, this is accounting student. This is business student. This is finance student. If you see the business students, the marketing psychology student, they are the happy-go-lucky, full of life all the time. But if you see the accounting students and finance students, you know, talking about money, talking about budget, finance, they, they, they are more on the, okay, always, you know, looking into the budget and things like that. So, this student who are good in TikTok, I think it's very suitable for the student to go into business, marketing psychology, retail, or entrepreneurship. Huh, since we're talking about characteristics yeah. and programs, how would you define or how would you describe specifically mm -hmm. for courses and that in in that in that sense for mm -hmm. example uh, i'm a quiet person what would you suggest okay. I, w i am a very you know what kind of characteristics would help that course okay all right uh, when we do counseling session mm -hmm. we will actually ask the students like what's your passion so sometimes the parents will say that i think you should go for accounting Okay. okay, but when we talk to the students, the students said, um, sebenarnya puan saya tak minat sangat perkahwinan ni. Walaupun saya score A, SPM perkahwinan, tapi minat saya adalah lebih kepada human resource. Ah, uh, si kenapa? Kenapa suka human resource? Ah, uh, sebab saya suka mengambil pekerja. Uh, so we start to explain. Okay, what 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 kind of person you are? Are you a person who likes to talk to people? Because when you're in HR, you need to be a good listener you need to recruit people sometimes you also need to retrench staff you also deal with salary okay and you also conduct training so we when we talk to them we will also get to know what other personalities that they have what other good skills that they have that can actually match with them so sometimes the students can be like very good in mathematics but the student will say that i don't think so i want to go into accounting finance I want to go something which is different. Can I do bachelor in international business? Okay, so, uh, but we will keep asking students more because sometimes it's not only the passion, but it's also the skills they're good at. Okay, so really, it really goes back to what they believe yes, and yes. what they want to do Correct. in the future. Very true, very true. But as our township president always say, love what you do. I agree. So the moment you have the passion, you want to become an accountant, no matter how difficult it is, you will prove through. But when you say that, I think I want to work with Central Bank, better go Bachelor Economics and Finance. I see. I think I want to become an entrepreneur, Bachelor Entrepreneurship. I like to do payroll, Bachelor Human Capital Management. So it's your passion. Passion really drives yes. what you wish to do in the true, future, true, isn't it? True. There you go, folks, everyone. So that is the the whole picture, you know, the bigger picture in terms of business management and professional studies that we wish to, you know, address. And like, you know, if you have any other questions, all right, please drop in the comment section below and we will try to answer that because right now we're still ongoing with the MSU Edu Carnival 2023. So if you have any, any questions and you wish to join the program, right? So please 
Joy, just drop by in MSU Shah Alam, all right, in session 13, and we'll be glad to answer any questions. Our academic counselors are always ready from Monday up until Sunday, yes, the weekends. So just drop by and they are happy to help you. So once again, thank you for listening to the MSU Talks podcast and thank you again, once again, Madam Pari. My pleasure to be here, Imran. Thank you very much. Bye.